Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're going to talk about the first segment of the Ether story, Blood of the Dead, and its conclusion. By that I mean its ending cutscene and its implications for the story as it unravels in Black Ops 4. I'm going to play the cutscene for you guys now, but before I do, make sure you do subscribe for more story videos like this one. And show your support by hitting that like button. Without further ado, let's watch this cutscene and I'll explain it right after. Listen to how the spirits sing. They are free of this realm. Ain't that swell. Does that mean we win? I would be greatly relieved if that were so. I am in no hurry to ensnare my mortal soul. That will not be necessary, Nikolai. The future has changed. Read it. Learn of your true calling. You must keep your soul. It will be needed to defeat Dr. Monty. Who? Hello? Hello? I, I am still here. I honestly thought you were going, going to let me bleed to death. It was so sad. The cycle is broken, Herr Doctor. As such, insurance policies are no longer needed. I wish I could tell you I was sorry, Edward. But I'm not. No. No, you can help me. You're a doctor. Wait. Don't you know who I am? I have been witness to miracles and calamities. Dimensions born would collapse. And walk a path no other can take. No! I want to be me. Someone who did all the hard work! I wanted to keep going. This is me. Most hates this part. You won't even remember. So yeah, if you're still here, you're probably interested in the story, and I mentioned subscribing already, so make sure you do so. Pretty intense cutscene, it is one of the longest cutscenes I think we've gotten. And funnily enough, if you weren't following the story before, you're not going to follow what's going on, so I'm hoping a lot of you guys are new and need this explained. So I explained the Black Ops 4 timeline already, the fact that we dropped into Blood of the Dead from Zetsubunashima to go back to Zetsubunashima in Black Ops 3 now, to head on to Gorod Krovi, to then head on to Revelations, to then be sent back in time and become Primus. And this happened in essentially, let's say, the first iteration of the story. Now by means right now unknown, the Primus Richthofen has traveled from that time to this dimension to further help our characters break the loop because remember they were trapped in Black Ops 3 loop essentially that went from Origins right all the way around to Revelations and then we appeared in Origins as statues but we were our younger selves and played back through the story over and over and over again all the way to the point of Zetsubu Nishima where we went on to Blood of the Dead and then the iteration was slightly changed the Cronorium was rewritten 
which Primus Richtofen actually mentions in the cutscene. And when he's talking about an insurance policy, the blood files because they were from a different dimension, or rather that dimension. When Dr. Monty, who is now revealed to be evil, in Revelations sent our characters back to be Primus. That was basically that Richtofen's attempt at breaking the loop. But unfortunately, it didn't work because they were still sent back. So essentially, take this as attempt two. Except that Primus Richtofen is already aware that his plan basically failed. So he's helping this version of Richtofen before he re-enters the loop by heading to Revelations and then getting sent back in time. Now I mentioned in a different video that this Richtofen in Blood of the Dead is slightly corrupted and slightly off track compared to the other Richtofens that went through that loop. Because essentially he could be the 100th Richtofen or even the 3rd Richtofen. We really don't know how many iterations of the loop took place. But either way, that Richtofen has to go. So that's why the Primus Richtofen got rid of him. Or, or should I say, or, or, and. Basically, the Primus Richtofen, since he does look the exact same as the Blood of the Dead Richtofen, can now take his place because he knows the steps and the sequence of steps that this crew has to take in order to break the loop and essentially defeat Dr. Monty. Our characters then leave through a portal and I can't tell you what happens after that because the story is still being written. Hopefully I've explained this clear enough if you do have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comment section below if you're still here i'd really appreciate if you guys did subscribe for more zombies videos like this and of course smash that like button to show your support without further ado i'm gonna leave the video here peace out thanks for watching i'll see you all in another video very very soon